Alright, so you'll probably notice right away, I, I didn't realize uh, Brian's streams had an intro because I've never ever ever been able to see the start of one, but it just happened to pop up while I was unfortunately awake, and so I was able to get the beginning of this stream. So I'll just uh, put the intro here for people to see it who haven't, because I mean there's some parts that are kind of cool, so eh, might as well. Um, there's music that plays behind it, but no way am I playing that here because I have no idea what is and is not copywritten. So, um, yeah, it'll just play naked. It'll just be there in the background, hanging. This was from the stream yesterday. That was, um, more animation tweaks from the same alt attack animation that we've already seen in, like, three other streams. So I just did a few highlights and that was it. I'm not talking about tweaking the foot for 50 minutes again. Not gonna happen. No. So instead we get a few clips of the first bit of the animation that played, and then I think it was one or two in the middle, and then the final one that plays. Um, thoughts on this animation? Assuming it's finally done, I don't know. I missed like half of the stream that played today, and so I don't know if he worked on the other one before and then switched to the locomotion, or it was already done, don't know. Anyway, I think I, yeah, I like it. It's nice. Uh, it's basically the same as it was the last time I saw it. Um, the tail sways around, which I liked. It looks like the hands are still basically the same. Um, eh. It's, it's there. It's not bad. I like it. Um, nothing super obnoxious or anything. At least not with this one. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the locomotion. You guys, if you saw the prior streams, you'll know exactly what I'm about to whine about. But first, um, with that one out of the way, let's just scoot along to the next stream that was today. I missed a lot of it. Don't know what all was going on. It looks like he was working on locomotion. He was working on the run, I think it was, by the time I got there. Run, trot, whatever. I think it was a little bit of both. Anyway, but first let's look at Dibble, because Dibble was pretty early from when I started recording. So I just chopped the first bit because it was useless, and it's already covered in the second bit I'll be showing. And instead focused on this Dibble man over here. Looks like it's finally got textures this time! Look at that! Yay! He's got colors! Um, he flexed it around a little bit, showed it moving, well, as in moving, as in he was wiggling parts of it around, like the shoulder, the feet, the head, stuff like that. Um, he showed a little bit of the morph, I suppose, um, but it was pretty slow, if I remember, so this is sped up, I think, times two, because the whole segment was several minutes, and yeah, that's, that's a lot of dibbleness. I do like the part where he squished it near the ground. I doubt it means anything, but it would be kind of cool if they were able to crouch like that. I know people have been wanting a herbivore crouch just to, you know, hide and be able to move without being seen as easily. So maybe someday, but it probably doesn't mean anything, so we're not going to read into it at all. It's probably it was just him messing with it because he was doing a lot of just funky stuff with the... Model, moving it around, stretching it, breaking its neck, you know, all the greatest hits. So, with that dibble out of the way, because honestly, not a lot to say there, he was just messing with the model. It's nice to see dibble again, it's been a little bit. Um, he was naky the last time, and he wasn't naky this time, so yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the Serato thing. So he was doing juvie locomotion in the stream today. So it's, this one was just trot, run, stuff like that. It was, you know, the usual, the feet, the arms, weight, uh, the head, arms again, because the arms just love to go everywhere no matter what he does with them. And I think there was a bit of the, I don't actually remember if there was any of the tail this time, come to think of it. I mean, maybe it was there and it could have been at the beginning too when I missed it. I don't think I remember seeing anything with the tail. So there might or might not have been anything with the tail this time. I either forgot it or it wasn't there, as in, you know, it was earlier on and I missed it. I could see the tail being one of the earlier parts along with the legs that he works on, so it's hard to say. 
But honestly, as usual with the locomotion type, I think I said this with Galley, there's not a whole lot to say. It's a lot of just, you know, tweaking the weight, the arms, the legs, making it look not weird or stiff in any way. You know, stuff like that. So an awful lot of this one was just watching how the animation was moving, and he'd make small tweaks here or there, and then he'd watch it again and he'd make small tweaks. He'd sometimes tweak it while it was actively moving. You know, stuff like that, the usual things you expect to see from these sorts, because it's a lot of... Especially with Serato, because like with Galley, the walk already existed, and I imagine he is using the prior one and, you know, building off of it rather than making a brand new one. Because why would you make a brand new one which when the other one already exists? So, yeah. Anyway. There's not a whole lot going on with this one. At least not in the section that I managed to get. Uh, the arms probably took up a... Well, aside from the staring that I already mentioned where he'd make small, small tweaks while watching the animation move. I imagine that was a, a good portion of it. Of course, a decent amount has been chopped up for your convenience because, oh my goodness, it is the same thing again and again and again, and I'm watching it at times for speed most of the time, and it is dull. It is boring. It was a slog to go through and find anything quote-unquote interesting. But I did what I could. I got a decent amount of everything that was within my, you know, clippage. The portion of the stream that I managed to actually catch. So I think I did decently-ish. I don't know. Honestly, it wasn't a whole lot, so the highlights are probably gonna end up being, you know, the actual animation playing in between him tweaking it a little bit. So... Thoughts on this one? I don't like this one at all. Let's just pause a hot moment. Take a guess as to why I don't like it. Take a good long look at his walk and tell me what's wrong with it. Aside from the hands not moving because that's a work in progress. Just tell me what's wrong with it. If you guessed the friggin' head, you'd be correct. It's moving as if he's doing a brain damage speed run any percent. Holy crap. Predators don't move their heads like that. They need to actually, you know, be able to see what's in front of them instead of having their head move all over. Like, watch an ostrich run him. Just go Google an ostrich running. Its head stays completely still. Google a bald eagle running. The head is completely still. Yeah, bald eagles don't even normally run, and their head still is completely still. But yeah, I, I don't know how a predator is expected to, you know, keep his eyes on the prey in front of him when his head's bobbing around so much that I'm pretty sure he's going to lose track of just about anything in front of him. The head should be still, at least mostly, like there's going to be a little bit of movement, but it's not a whole lot. Again, go look at an ostrich running. There's ones where it's running in front of those, you know, square graphs and stuff. You know, things that artists and animators will use for references and whatnot. And its head stays very, very level. And if you don't want to say, oh, well, an ostrich is different, it's got a friggin' long neck, but okay, let's do the bald eagle thing again. There's a video of a bald eagle running around, because, I guess, and its head's not moving a mile a minute. And even during the trot, when it was slowed down, the last one, he was the one who sped that one up, not me. I don't know if he was messing to see if how it would look when running, or what. But the slowed down trot one that's, you know, going at a decent speed before he moved the hands around. The head is w moving way too much. It's stupid. It's dumb. It doesn't fit Serato at all. This is not... <sighs> I'll go on this forever and ever. I'm going to stop now, but yes. This animation sucks. I don't like it. The, it doesn't make sense. For this creature, it doesn't make sense for just about anything that isn't hipsy or over raptor, and even those you could argue it would be too much because the head is moving way too much. And Galley, this wouldn't fit at all because, as I said, the heads on ostriches don't move very much at all when they're running. So it's like, why? Why would you. It's the most cartoony, over the top bird thing I have ever seen. But this is what I expected, and this is what I thought would happen, so there you go. 
Hopefully he'll change it. I doubt it. Because they didn't change Carno, who did the same thing, until everyone threw an absolute hissy fit. But who knows if they'll even do that anymore, because they seem to be iffy when it comes to, you know, listening to feedback. Stares at the night vision drama that happened that they doubled down on 50 times before finally changing it. <sighs> but anyway, enough of that. I don't like this one. It sucks. It's Serato, I know, I should like it totally because it's Serato, but no, it sucks. I hate it. It's trash. Don't like it. Awful. I could go on about how terrible it is because the head alone just ruins the whole thing. Like, I know it's a work in progress, but that movement is way too much. Just... Ugh. Gosh. But I'm done with that. Um, <clears throat> overall stream was, it was a locomotion stream, and I watched him go from a pretty decent animation to completely trashing it in the course of just moving the head around. So, yeah, not happy, not good, don't like it. Seeing Dibble was nice, though. I don't generally play herbivore, like, at all, really. I mean, when it comes to dinosaur designs, or, you know, actually, most, uh, most animal designs in general, I just like the look of how predators look. I mean, they just, they're visually appealing to me in most ways. There's some uh, herbivores that I really like. Like, I really like um, bulls, cows. I enjoy rabbits a lot. They're really cute, even if they like to kill themselves. Uh, moose are pretty cool. I like those guys. Eh, stuff like that. Like, they're alright. They're cool. But I've always been one for reptiles, and most reptiles just don't... Uh, generally speaking, most reptiles don't just eat plant matter. There's some that eat majority, if not all, plant matter. Um, like iguanas eat a whole bunch of plants. Uh, blue tongue skinks eat a decent amount. I wouldn't say mostly, but it's decent. And I love blue tongues to death. Like, they're so cute. Um, but I've always been a reptile person, and most of them, like, you don't see a snake going out and grazing in a pasture or something. They're just, they, they consume the living things, and that's not what I find interesting about them. It's not because they're predators that I like them, it's just they're visually appealing to me. Like, cats and dogs, I like their visual designs, like how their body looks, how they move. Um, you just don't... The way they move, the way they look, it's just very different from most herbivores, and a lot of them I do find cute. Like, again, I'll go back to rabbits. I really like rabbits. They're some of my favorites, and I enjoy um, cows a lot. They're, they're such great animals. I love them. Pigs are great, but they, um, they lean a little bit towards omnivore, I would say, than just pure... I mean... I'm not going to say pure herbivore, because just about any herbivore is going to consume a baby bird or two during its lifetime. And squirrels, I adore squirrels, but they'll very happily, you know, consume birds and babies and all sorts of stuff. Just about any herbivore will. Like, hippos are known for it. They'll steal carcasses from crocodiles. You'll see videos of deer just walking around and then just crunches a bird that's just on the ground because it can... It's protein and calcium to them. Like, they can't eat a whole lot of it, of course, but they'll get take what they can get. I remember a um, squirrel on my backyard fence was holding a, um, a bone that I think someone had given to a dog, and it was just sitting there crunching on it for the calcium, and it's, it's cute. I like it. It was the most hollow scraping sound I had heard just hanging in my backyard, just there. But anyway, I like them a lot. I just, visually speaking, generally prefer the designs of carnivores. Generally. Not always. Like, I mean, a panda's technically a herbivore-ish. I mean, again, they'll eat a little bit of meat here and there. But, generally speaking, you know, the bamboo is all they eat-ish. And they're cute. I like pandas. They're neat. Red pandas are also pretty darn cute. But, eh, it's just... I just like things that are reptiles, generally speaking, and most of the time reptiles aren't herbivores. I mean, there are some, again, but it's just not usually the case, so anyway. That's enough. That's just visual stuff 
that I like and dislike. Um, uh, yeah. When it comes to birds, I think I like ones like ravens the most, simply because of their intelligence and stuff, and the way they look is cool. There's some vultures that I enjoy a lot. Um, the titbirds, because of how round and cute they are, I enjoy those guys quite a bit. Um, but Serato shouldn't be moving that way, and I'm gonna say it again, I had better just not be doing that because it doesn't make sense, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm done. Um, we'll see how future streams end up going. If it's the same thing tomorrow, you know this locomotion thing? We'll see if I chop it down a whole bunch and then combine it with another one like I did here. Because, uh, frankly, it's easier that way. If he's gonna be doing this every single day, then might as well, honestly. But we'll see how it goes. It'll maybe save me a little bit of sanity. We'll see. Probably not. Anyways, have a great day, night, whatever time this is posted, and, and or you see it. And goodbye! Thank you.